Hey there, this is just a real quick video to show you how to, you can graph uh, polar functions using Desmos. So I'm at Google here and I'm just gonna type in Desmos and I get, uh, hit the link real quick, Desmos graph and calculator. Click on it, here's the usual Desmos screen. Okay, you can zoom in, zoom out, put the origin there in the middle. You go up here to the wrench, graph settings. Basically all you do is change the grid from rectangular to polar. Okay, hit settings again, you can see the polar plane. Then over here, it's kind of pre-programmed to understand that the variables are called r and theta. So you can't just type in the expression, but you have to put r equals, okay? And then you can put your function. I'll just type cos, it knows what I mean. I'm gonna graph r rows. And now there's two ways to get the theta, okay? If you like to point and click, there's a keypad down here. Hit it, hit the alphabet over here. You can choose theta, okay? It knows what you mean. And the parentheses, there's our rows. Or if you just like to type, you can just type it T-H-E-T-A, theta. It knows what you mean. Either way, you get the graph. Hide the keypad, okay? So there's a picture of our three petal rows. And that handout that I asked you to do in the second part of 10.3, uh, I wanted you to change this three to other numbers. Let me just end this video real quick by showing you how you can use Desmos to do that in kind of a cool way. If I just type that number, I called it N in the handout, I'll call it N right here. It asks me if I wanna make a slider. Yes, I do. There's N. Right now it thinks N is a real number. I don't want it to be a real number. So I'll click on that slider panel and I can tell it where I want it to start, maybe one go up to something not too big, maybe 10. And then here, if I make the step size one, then N isn't gonna take any fractional values. It's gonna count one, two, three, and so on. So now if I hit this play button, or I can stop it and change N one at a time, you can kind of do that homework with me. Here's cosine of one times theta, cosine of two times theta, cosine of three times theta, four times theta, pretty cool, yeah? Play around with this, you can make some conjectures. Change cosine to sine, change n, see if you can change the theta ranges. Yeah, it's an interesting thing, what is going on here? Okay, well, that's how you can use Desmos to plot this and any other polar function that you want. You can plot lots of them at the same time. R equals theta is one that I asked you to do. It's kind of a cool looking curve. I'll zoom out on it a little bit. And uh, with that picture, I'll leave you to uh, plot on Desmos on your own. Thanks.